Not guilty on all charges. That's the verdict in the trial of Joshua Block. Today, the New River staff sergeant was acquitted in the March bus stop death of a Dixon High School student. WNCT's Elizabeth Tu was in the courtroom today. She reports from Onslow County. Two types of emotion erupted as the judge read the verdict, anguish and relief. On Joshua Block's side of the courtroom, there was an audible gasp as Judge Grant read the verdicts of not guilty for both charges. Palacio's family, sitting once again on the front row, quietly cried and embraced. The six-day trial ended after about an hour of deliberation. DA J.B. Askins clearly distraught by the decision. Only hours earlier, he told the 12-person jury during closing arguments that the fault lied with Block, who had 14 seconds from the time he first saw the bus to the collision to slow down. Defendant should have been slowing down long, long before he got to the bus. He should have begun slowing down when he saw the flashing yellow lights. Block's attorney, Ed Bailey, told the jurors a different version during closing arguments. He said the fault lied with the bus driver who wasn't paying attention and should have activated the red lights and stop arm much sooner. But she was not looking for some reason. She was not doing what the law and the procedures of being a bus driver required of her. Both families declined to speak on camera. Palacio's mother said only that justice was denied. Palacio's family would like to remind all drivers to pay attention whenever they see a school bus on the road. In Onzo County, Elizabeth 2, 9 on your side.